Hello? I haven't heard from you since your accident. I wanted to make sure you're still doing okay. Well, actually, I just got my car back. It looks great. Good. What about you? That little cut on my head is all gone. I'm fine. But I know that's not what you're really asking. I worry about you. Please don't. I'm adjusting. To life without Ridge. It can be done. You know, I'll help any way I can. Thank you, Hector. You're a sweetheart. I want to be more, Taylor. You know that. Uh, listen, someone's at my door. I need to go get that, okay? So I'll call you back a little bit later, all right? Bye. I didn't know where else to turn. Dante. I need your advice. I, I did something, and if it turns out that I am, that the, the kid is... What, well, I'm totally confused. What are you talking about? It's about one night I had in Europe when I was still there. First, I dismissed it. I don't know why. Maybe I was in denial. But I usually take precautions, and I did. But it, it wasn't a, a typical night. You know, she and I, we were... God, what a mess. If it turns out that I am... What, if you got this woman pregnant? Is that what you're telling me? It's a possibility that I could be the father, yes. But I need to be certain. Well, why don't you ask the mother? That's where I've been. The mother is Felicia. Her little boy, Dominic, could be my son. I got into a nightclub in Nice, you know. I was there with my buddies. I was having a great time, you know, and... and... And then I see this gorgeous girl, you know, she's dancing on the tables, you know, the, the life of a party, or at least it seemed, you know? Mm. Felicia. Yeah, and I sensed that she was on a rebound from some guy, and she was. Look, I know how it sounds, it's not like that. Because what happened between us, it seemed to be what she needed. Felicia thought you were using protection. No, I did, the first time, but as the night went on, and now, So Felicia's son could be yours. You said you just came from over there? I went over there and I told her everything. She's furious at me. And I don't blame her, but she still thinks that Nick is the father. Look, let's get you a glass of wine and no, no. We'll sit Taylor, down Taylor, here. listen, I don't I didn't come here for wine. I came here because anyone could help me. It's you. Look, Dante. You know, Felicia's dying. And the one thing she was counting on was knowing that the parents who were going to raise her son were going to love him. And, and now if, if Nick isn't the father, I mean... Were you saying I shouldn't have said anything? No, I... Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have kept my mouth shut. Especially if it means robbing Felicia of her peace of mind where a kid's concerned. Because the truth is, Taylor, you know, raising a child by myself right now is the last thing I can imagine doing. Now I'm, I'm really confused. <laughs> Dante, if you don't want to be a father to Dominic, then why did you go to Felicia in the first place? Shouldn't the kid know who his real parents are? In most cases, I would say yes, but there are always exceptions. One of which would be if one parent is feeling ambivalent about being a parent, which I don't really understand, Dante. If you were already willing to raise Nick's child with Bridget, then why wouldn't you want to raise your own son? Oh, because... It's not the same thing, because me and Bridget would have been a family, brought up the kid together. So without Bridget in the mix, everything's different? No. I mean, if the kid is mine, I have a responsibility to him. But then it means I'm going to have to raise his child as a single father. I mean, is that really better for him than being raised by Nick and Bridget in a stable two-parent home? Well, all relationships, no matter how solid they seem, they, they do always have their challenges. And um, Nick and Bridget have just lost a child. And they wanted that child very much. A tragedy like that can either make a couple closer or... Pull them apart. See, I believe that Nick went back to Bridget because of the baby. But now things are different. 
they were the only thing holding them together is their obligation to Felicia and their child. Well, I, I hardly think that they look at it as an obligation, Dante. But that isn't even the issue right now. The question is... Who Dominic's real father is. The only way you're gonna know is to get a medical test. She refuses to have one. Oh. Well, that's understandable. Look, the thing everybody has to remember is you have to put what's best for her son first. That's what I'm trying to do. But I can't do anything without your help. Dante, I haven't talked to her yet. I don't know anything about this. Then come with me. Talk to Felicia. <sighs> Taylor, I gotta get some answers. I gotta get those answers tonight. And I'm gonna find out the truth with or without your help. <laughs>